the best productivity system is the one which works between each other and the one which is the most accessible to you. That way, Apple Notes with the Apple Reminders and Apple Calendars is the perfect productivity system. It can work with each other and at the same time, it's right there on your phone, iPad and Mac whenever you need it. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Apple Notes, Apple Reminders and Apple Calendars together to make it the perfect trifecta of your productivity system. So. Let's go. We're going to talk in detail about how to best work across Apple Notes, Reminders and Calendars. To get to the perfect integration between the three, we're going to first look at using Apple Notes with Apple Reminders, then Apple Notes with Apple Calendars, then Apple Reminders with Apple Calendars. Finally, we will see how to combine all the three to best use Apple Notes with Apple Reminders and Apple Calendars. I hope that makes sense. Also, I'm not going to talk about all the features and basics of using each of these app individually in this video. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. And one final detail, I'm on iOS 18.2 version. So if you don't see any specific features we are seeing in this video, please update to the latest version before trying these out. With that said, let's start with Apple Notes and Apple Reminders. Now, let's say you are creating a reminder in the Reminders app. By default, you can add some text notes, but nothing fancy like images, handwritten notes or web links, formatting, etc. By linking Apple Notes and Apple Reminders, you can easily supercharge your reminders. There are a few ways to do this. If it's some detailed text, you can easily populate the reminder by simply dragging the whole note into the notes section of a reminder like this. The whole text will be pasted directly. Just a quick pro tip, there seems to be a bug where this drag and drop isn't working as expected with iCloud list but if I drop it to a reminder list to different account it works perfectly. I'm guessing this should be fixed soon but why stop with text? We can make it even more fancier. When you're on a note simply hit the share button. Make sure this option is set to send a copy. Now select reminders. Here you can tweak the details like titles, notes, even select which reminder list you want this note to go to in detail section. Once you're happy with all the details, tap add. Now this note is added as a reminder and you can view it in the reminders app. You know the best part? When you take a look at the reminder that just you added, you can see a note icon to this reminder. This is actually a link. When you tap on this link, it takes you back to the original Apple Notes from where you created this reminder. Your reminder now has richer text with images, links, formatting and more. Creating a reminder out of a note is already so easy, right? But let's take it to the next level. Just long press and move an Apple Note. This is now a droppable note. Now with your other finger, slide to open reminders. Just drop the Apple Note into reminders. This will instantly create a new reminder, but also with the same Apple Notes link. When you tap on it, it will take you back to the linked Apple Note. I use this feature very often when I start my ideas on Apple Notes, then I will create a reminder out of it. This way, when I get a reminder, I have all the information related to the reminder, including images, handwritten notes and web links. You know, the reverse is possible too. When you are on a shared reminder and it has lots of information, you can easily save it to yourself as a note too. Just long press and drag a reminder. While holding on to the reminder, move to open Apple Notes. Just drop the reminder and all the data will be pasted onto Apple Notes. That's about Apple Notes and Apple Reminders. Now let's check out the Apple Notes with Apple Calendar. Let's start with a simple one. You are creating an event on Apple Calendar. You see there is a notes section at the bottom. To populate this like we have seen before, you can simply drag a whole Apple note and drop it to this section and all the text data will be added here easily. This is especially useful if you already have your notes saved with lots of information. You know, this drag and drop is nice, but it doesn't give you a link back like how we could do with Apple Reminders. Don't worry, we'll fix this in a minute. Now, let's check out Apple Reminders with Apple Calendar. The Reminders and Calendar app are very tightly integrated. If you create an event on Reminder in one app, it will automatically show up in the other. Let me show you. Now, we are in Calendar app. When we try to create a new event using the plus icon at the top, it will give us an option to create this as an event or a reminder. I will now choose reminder. I can give a title. I can also drag and drop a note into this note section. 
I will give it a due date and time and fill in other details if necessary. When I add this event, you can see it on my calendar, but since it's a reminder, it has the option to mark it complete. When I go to my reminders app, the same event is seen on my reminders app as well. I'll get a notification at set due date and time. It is also searchable through my reminders app. I can categorize it through hashtags. We will see all these use cases soon. I can even mark this reminder as complete once done. When I do that, the event is marked as complete in the calendar app as well. Neat, right? You can do this the other way as well. In the reminders app, when you're creating a reminder, just add a due date to it. It will now be treated as an event and it will show up in your calendar app as well. If you do not specify a due time, it will be shown as an all day event. Another favorite reminder and calendar integration of mine is when I get an email appointment, they will be added to my calendar automatically, but they won't show up in my reminders where I see my day's events every day. To make my calendar event show up in my reminders app, I can simply drag the calendar event, move to reminders app and I can drop it to a particular list. This not only creates a new reminder with the same title, but you can also see a calendar icon next to it showing its link to the calendar event. When you click on it, it will take you to the respective calendar event. Here in reminders, I can now add more information like priority, hashtags, subtasks and more. This helps me further categorize and filter my events. For example, if this is a work event, I can tag it as hashtag work. I've also made a smart list which will show all reminders with this hashtag. So all my calendar events with a work hashtag will show up here in one go. Okay, we saw each of Apple productivity app working with each other seamlessly. Now let's put all three together and create a unified productivity system, shall we? I'm going to demonstrate it with my use case where I use it to create a workflow for my YouTube video production needs. Feel free to tweak it and use it to yours. I've put Apple notes as my lock screen shortcut. Whenever I get a new YouTube video idea, I quickly open a new note through my lock screen, I give it a title and then I add a few points that I want the video to talk about. I also add some links, images and maybe a few handwritten notes to it as well. Now I'll make it into a reminder so that I know it's a to-do item on my plate and Apple will remind me when it's time to do it. To do this, I'm going to drag this Apple notes into my reminders app YouTube list. Reminders has automatically created a new reminder for me. Not just that, it has also linked my original Apple Notes so that I can go back to it anytime to view my detailed notes and points. The advantage of doing this way is I can later edit this Apple Note with more points and details and my reminders will always link it to latest and updated information. I then go into reminders and add a few more details, mainly some subtasks because I have scripting, filming, editing, thumbnail and other subtasks for one YouTube video. I also usually add a priority to tell me how I should prioritize this video over others. I also have a few hashtags which will help me categorize and help me create smart lists for later. For this, I have added a productivity hashtag since I've already created a smart list showing all my reminders with hashtag productivity, it shows up there as well all categorized. Okay, this is just a task now on my to-do list. To allocate some time to it, I will go ahead and add a due date and time to it right in the reminders app. I'm going to mark the due date as today 9 pm. The moment I do this, I have a single event linked in Apple Calendar, Apple Reminder and Apple Notes. Check this out. I'm opening my Apple Reminder app and viewing my day. At 9 pm, I have an event which is also a reminder about my YouTube video. I tap on it to view it shows it's my YouTube list. When I ask it to show in reminders, it immediately takes me to the reminders app. Here I can see that this reminder is linked to my Apple Notes. When I tap on it, it takes me to the Apple Notes which contains all my main talking points, research material, web links, images and more. Not just that, if I go back to my Apple reminders, I can go to the home page, tap on today, and here there is a list of all my events of reminders that are due today with the link to my Apple Notes. This today tab is already sorted by date and time and pretty much acts like my calendar view for the day. 
in one view, I know my whole day schedule plus a link to all my notes. If I want a categorized view of my events and reminders, I've already created a smart list which will show events only tagged with specific keywords or hashtags. Or I can even ask Siri to show all my reminders from my work list. Siri shows all my reminders with links to my notes where I can tap and go straight to my notes categorized by list. Isn't this incredible? My productivity with Apple Notes, Reminders, Calendar, Trifecta has increased so much more than using these apps individually. This, this is already a lot of information for one video. If you found it useful, let me know in the comments below and I will make another video integrating Apple Mail as well into this productivity setup. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me make more such content. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, this is Anjana. Bye-bye.